is confusion in state government ranks over future rail lines for hauling coal in the Galilee Basin. A senior MP is expecting a review of the proposed routes, but he's been contradicted. Property owners along the two planned rail routes in the Galilee Basin say the lines will cut across floodplains and damage prime agricultural land. Government MP Vaughan Johnson has told ABC Radio the Premier and the Coordinator General have agreed to review the routes. He will revisit this corridor in question where I have identified as the area of concern and will set up meetings with those people affected. The veteran rural MP says there's no point being sorry in 30 years. This was very much rushed in the infantry stage and it's absolutely paramount now that we get the right corridor set in granite. But there's a breakdown in communication. The Deputy Premier, Jeff Seeney, says after two and a half years of assessment and consultation by the Independent Coordinator General, the boundaries of the Galilee Basin State Development Area have been set. Mr Seeney and the Premier say the routes won't change, but the impacts will be minimised. What we've asked the Coordinator General is now to ensure that his people understand that when they go out and they talk to the roughly 70 landowners that are affected, that they do everything to work with them. Environmentalists say the government is split. I think Vaughan Johnson is trying to stand up for his constituents. They really are worried about these rail lines. They're in the wrong place. And he's trying to put that case to the, um, the powers that be in the LNP. More conversations may be needed. Chris O'Brien, ABC News.